Right, good morning everyone. A couple of things this morning. Regarding parcels, if you've ordered in the last three days, they will all be going out. Um, it's Monday today. Couldn't couldn't do it on Saturday or Sunday. I uh, it'll be. I've got a couple more parcels to do today and tomorrow, which will take because one's a big order. I'll get the smaller ones done first. Smaller ones done first. Um, but they will go out Wednesday this week, and you should start receiving them from Wednesday, uh, from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday if you're in the UK. Uh, and if you're overseas, we send them economy now, so it's say your 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 postage you cut by half, but it takes an extra week. But you do get them, and I know they're getting there because we've already been receiving notification from parcels that have already gone. Uh, like just after Christmas or whatnot, and they're just starting arriving now, starting to arrive. Now, I've got um, some pictures to show you, some rice paper pictures, some products that I've found that I'm going to use because I've not used them for a long time. I've got a giveaway, a gi fantastic giveaway when you think about it, and we're going to do a project today. And I've got some colour washes to share with you. Now, I initially wanted to make some room for myself. I don't know why they don't use a, you know, put these in um, like Reeves do, like this, look. A big lid, you can stand up. These don't stand up, they well, they do, but they fall over. You can't get many in your tub. So I just need to remove my paints so that I can work, which I should have done before I came on, but I didn't. <laughs> righty ho let's have a look come on you lot i mean i'm gonna get these out anyway i'm gonna need them so they're gonna be close by let's just put it that way so i've got those to share i've got some of that to share that's gonna be a project i'm gonna do that's the giveaway they're the color wash and that's a, a project as well now for this giveaway and i often do giveaways First of all, you do have to be a subscriber, and I will be checking that you are, because it's unfair that somebody comes along just because it's a giveaway uh, and then perhaps gets chosen. Um, I always check mine to make sure that they uh, they are. And that you've been with us a while, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, if you've just started, you, you do go in the pot as well. Um, right, so what we're going to do this time, let's have a look. This is a whole giveaway. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five items. And if you're a newbie, don't be shy. Get your name down and I'll show you what you've got to do. Or tell you what you've got to do. First of all... <laughs> Shut up, you lot, because I know what you're, me old timers are thinking. Yes, I know, I can't help it. But who would call something sticky? Oh, what? I don't know. Sorry. Oh, and if you can see it muck under my nails, it's not. It's that paint I spilt the other day. And I can't get it out. I've tried. Look, it's marked them all. I'm going to have to go have them done again. Well, sorted out. But anyway, yeah, but who would call them stiffy? Honest to God, you lot, when you're coming up with these names, I know it's fun. But it is fabric stiffener. Just say fabric stiffener. Stiffy. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old. <laughs> Maybe I'm just... <laughs> Sorry, can't help it. Anyway, it is fabric stiffener. Now, if you've never used fabric stiffener before and you need to give it a really good... Show, better not do that. Put my hand on that way because I don't trust myself. Um, all you do, I just pop this into a, a dish and then I... Um, I like doilies and that if you want to... If you're making a, a model, a dress and you want it to stay just so, then you dip all your um, fabric in here, squeeze it, and then put it onto the project, leave it, you know, lay it where you want to have it, and leave it overnight, and it'll dry like that. And it, it is rock hard, I have to tell you that. So this is a 16 ounce fluid ounce, and don't waste what you've got in your dish, pour that back into your tub. And it is new, never been used, never been tampered with. Still got the... Hopefully. Yeah. When I bought them, I bought three. And I've really not even used my first one. So I know I'm not going to use these. 
and I just thought I need to do a giveaway what have I got that I've too much of that I can share so yeah it's sealed and everything but it will be coming in bubble wrap and we'll put it in a box of some sort right so fabric stiffener 16 fluid ounce that's 473 mil of that and go online have a look and see what people do with it there's other things i'm sure you can mix it with i mean i've put it in with um, paste and all sorts that, well because i do i don't like that <laughs> i'll try anything Uh, together with that, you will also receive one of these. This is the two ounce one. And remember what I said to you, these cost me $7.99. Uh, and then I found the ones that did uh, an eight ounce jar for £11. So I, when I bought them, thinking that there were eight ounce and there were <laughs> two ounce, I bought more than I needed. So I've got a spare one that I'm going to give. So that's eight pounds, just £7.99, eight quid just for that little jar and it's mod light and fluffy modeling paste and i make these with them they're flexible you can move them about and anything like that in your molds see you just pull it off and they're great that's what i used on the uh, jar that's what those are made from uh, so, and i made several of these because i want them for the project i've got another set as well Okay, so that's that. So you've got an eight ounce jar, and like I said, that's seven pound. This, I think, I paid, uh, I think it was about 15 pound when I got this. Cause I bought it from an art shop, and I tell you, I won't go there again, because I didn't realise back then when I bought them that you can find things cheaper. Everything is cheaper somewhere else. You just have to do a bit of checking. So you're going to get the fabric stiffener which will last for a while. You're going to get the light and fluffy modelling paste and you're also going to get a set of these, which is the enamel. Um, this is... Let me just see. It's two gold. Oh, no, that's right. You're going to get one of each, silly old. Sorry, do apologise. One gold, one silver. And they are just give them a really good shake. They are brand new, never opened. So you're going to get those paints. One, and you can do the same as what I've done. You can still use those to do this if you haven't got um, the oh god, what do you call it? Inca gold. So you can use these. So that's the giveaway. And all you have to do to get those is I want to know um, if you like mixed media, why do you like it? So answer that. And if you don't like mixed media, what don't you like about it? Because mixed media can be so much fun. You can do absolutely anything. And later on, maybe tomorrow, I'm going to do a plaque that I will sell, but I'll do a plaque. And I'll sign it as well, showing you how to do it using lots of different bits and pieces from fabric lace uh, to uh, bling. And I'm going to use my colours, which I'm going to show you in a minute, on that project. So those who do like mixed media, what is it that you like about mixed media? And those who don't like mixed media, what is it you don't like about mixed media and why? Why? Because a lot of people tend to stick to one genre of work and they won't step out of their comfort zone. But some do, and those that do, from my experience, um, I would say 98% of them have, have absolutely loved it. It opened up a whole new world to them. And then those that have done mixed media who have stepped out of the comfort zone and started on shabby chic. I have a lady that has been watching me, must be about five years now, and she was a mixed media person, and then she said, do you know what? She went, you've really... I, can't, um, I think it was a handmade flower that I made and then put it onto a handmade plaque. And she says, her daughter loved 
Shabby Chic, where she's a mixed media person. And she said, I had to make her something. And I thought, well, I'm going to make her something. And then she went, you went and did this. And I thought, I'll try it. She went, but I got so engrossed in doing it. She went, I've now added that to my list of artwork. So she does do both now. And she said, it's just opened up a new world to her. And it does. So... I've got that to finish. Like, sorry, I was just looking at something else while I was talking. So I'm going to do that in a minute. So, yeah, so that's going to be the giveaway. That's um, 15, 25, uh, 24, at least £25 worth of goods there. Just that I know. And if I could get all of that in wholesale, I, believe me, I would. But I can't... The thing is with wholesale, you have to buy a certain amount. Um, So I might have to buy, like, a 50 bottles or 100 bottles of that. And, but I might not sell it, so I can't take that risk because I am only a small business and um, I, I really do, I don't want to get left with a load of gear and if anything happens to me, that means my kids have got to get rid of it and they'll have no idea how much things cost. None. <laughs> I just, I can't take risks and I, I won't take certain risks. But if I can get it where I only can get half a dozen bottles, then I would definitely get some in. But I'll say we're going to look around this year and see what we can pick up. Same with this, you know, everything. We're going to do what we can for you. So that's the giveaway. What do you like about mixed media? What don't you like about mixed media? But when you say you don't like it, tell me why you don't like it. Have you ever tried it? Does it look too hard? Is it because you don't know what to do to start with to get things going? Because I can show you that stay step by step, stage by stage. We can show you how to put something together to make something beautiful. You can put crap together and make something beautiful. I often do that. <laughs> oh, there you go. But that's what I mean. We can take you through that. Don't be afraid. A lot of people will say and do say, you know, oh, mm, uh, it's because they're scared of stepping out of the comfort zone. And, and you shouldn't be. The Art is art at the end of the day. And it's how you want it, how you make it. Right, so colour washes that I'm going to use on the other projects. Now, I've got these. These are the ones I use more than anything. So if you can invest in them, do. If I can get them for you cheaper, I will. But I got these on a deal, these four. Uh, the lady was selling these. I think, she, I, I'm not sure if, I can't remember, to be honest, whether uh, she, her mum had died or whatever and she had all of these. But they were all new, untouched. So this one is uh, the Butterscotch. Absolutely love it. I just love it. What can I say? You know what? If they, I'm not sure if they'll uh, spray because I haven't used them for so long. So let's have a go and we'll show you. Just need to, they're just a colour wash. So that's like a nice rustic orange. This one is the lattice, or lettuce. Sorry, lettuce, and I love this. Green. Look, beautiful colours together. This one is the red pepper. And this one is my favourite of all time, pesto. Pesto. It's a beautiful moss green. See that? Now, so they do work. <laughs> We're going to use those on the uh, projects when we do the mixed media one. This one is the meadow. Like that. Again, very similar, but a lighter shade of the moss green. Uh, oh, sorry. These are a Durandac. I'm, it, I think that's how you say it. Uh, Tim Holtz, a Durandac. Colour wash. And these are also the same. So this is Espresso, which, I, again, I love. I, it's the brown. I absolutely love that. I think I've just sent for that one. Because I'm running out. And again, there's Butterscotch in the small. And this was the Meadow, like I said. So I'm not going to use too much of those because I absolutely love them. So that's the colouring for you. You can see them. And when you dry them, uh, we'll dry them a bit. They do go lighter. They, they're pretty light. They go quite light, actually. 
that's um, that is still wet, but they do go a lot lighter than those. I mean, I do sell these, but we haven't got any in at the moment because I've not been able to get to the warehouse. The acrylic paints, we normally sell those in various colours. And I also sell um, Cosmic Shimmers sprays. But like I said, I have not been able to get to the warehouse this year. <laughs> Bad, really. I sell, I do sell what I make. Sometimes I gift it away, sometimes I sell it, just to recoup the cost it's cost me to make things. So, now, um, so we don't need that anymore. The other thing what I want to show you is I've got this gold leaf. Now, <laughs> metal foil decorating set. Well, I don't know where the... Whatever. Oh, look. Ooh, don't do this to me. Right, you do have to be extremely careful with this stuff because it is gold leaf after all, look. And we're going to use that, I think, today. I think I'm going to use some of that. I've got quite a bit, so I'm fine, yeah. Right, we might use the gold one today, I think. <clears throat> um, and then I've got this, which is the silver one. Yeah. Which, I'm going to use the gold today, or you think. And the other one is I do have the copper one as well. use the copper actually it's quite a bit of the copper look at that beautiful shall we might use a no I'm gonna use the gold I said I was gonna use the gold that's the one I'm gonna do uh, let's turn that around there we go but you could do things and mix them need the silver there I mean they're all coming off the things now we don't need those um, and we don't need that one so we're going to do that in a minute now I've also got these and I've put some up on the shop because uh, I do have spares this is the rice paper that I bought do you remember I said I bought some rice paper and I bought it because I found when you're buying rice paper pictures online, they are expensive, and they are. And, you know, some are charging two, three, four, five pounds for a sheet. So what I've done is um, I've printed some out for myself and then taken what I need. I went a bit mad, really. And these are spare. So I've put them up on the shop. Now, bearing in mind the rice paper price that I've had to pay, and it's not cheap, and then the ink, and then the handling of it, which you've, you know, you've got to be able to get the envelope cost to put it in it and whatnot. I am doing the full sheet as well. So you're getting that full sheet. That one, sorry. Not this one. This was short. This is the pit. If you get one of the full sheet ones, you get all of those. And they're good sized pictures. So that's what you'll get. And it'll come with a backing like that. Because what I found and the way to do them is to put your rice paper on a piece of A4 paper and then just sellotape the top down because mine kept getting caught. So this is how your full sheets will come. The rest, um, I will try and keep them and put them onto um, white paper for you. I'm just sorting through these because it took me ages and ages to sort them out of which to use. 
See, I can't use those, but I can use those if I want to. Yeah, I'm not going to use those, there's no point. But these can all be used. Uh, I mean, I've just um, bought my ink this week. And, oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. The charging. I'm going to show the tech in the mitt because they know people can't get out and about and shop around. Um, but the charging, uh, my inkjet, £40 for my inkjet that I need for my printer. £40 a lot of money for a small business like me. And um, so there's nothing I can do about it. I have to pay it because I need that for my ink. A printer but I'm not happy about it because I think they're starting to rip people off now you may get a sheet like this unfortunately see that's not going to affect you so you it might have a slight mark because they don't always come out perfect like that's fine but the this is the picture you're going to need so um well to be honest I'm just going to cut the picture and if you want them stuck onto white card, you can. So we'll just cut these across. Like I say, they will come in attached to a piece of card. So they're like that. But don't waste this bit you cut off. Stamp on that and then you can use that as well. You can put somebody's name on it, can't you? Yeah. So. I would normally reuse it, but I'm not going to. I think I'll do it that way, and then the, on the original sheet of paper. See? And then you can do what you like with them. Like this one. The way they've printed, there's not much gap. But then right, so right now we need some uh, gesso. <sighs> And I'm going to use a smooth gesso today. This one is the Art Basics Heavy Gesso White, 8.5 fluid ounce, that's 250ml. Using a flat brush, it's always easy and best to use a flat brush when you're just doing the gesso. The bigger the surface, the bigger the brush. And I'm going to make sure that all the brush strokes are going the same way. You don't have to. It's personal choice. That's enough for that. Wash that brush. I'm going to use that brush again. So I need to make sure I've washed it properly. Dry this off. There we go. That's fine. Now, I'm going to use this one, which is Art Basics. Again, a soft matte gel. And... This is to put the picture on. Ow. 
I can't tell you where I got it or how much it was because I could, I just can't remember. You'd have to search for it. So it's the Art Basic Soft Matte Gel. And, and a little bit of a tip, when you're buying products, instead of going for something, you know, like that size, check out the price for something that size because often it's just a couple of pound dearer, but you're getting twice as much. In, when you're doing arts and crafts, you have to save your money where you can because it's an expensive hobby at times if you don't have people like me trying to help you out. Save a few pence. We save more than a few pence. <laughs> we save a few bob. Right, so what I'm going to do now is, this is for the picture. So this is the picture I'm going to use. And I'm just going to pop that on. Take the picture and I'm just going to rip it. You could cut it if you wanted to, I'm just going to rip mine around the bits. You don't want to put on stuff you don't need, you know, like them sections there. You just... You don't want straight lines anywhere. You know, it's showing in your picture, dear. So, and then what I'm going to do to make sure just that it fits and it's on is to do that. And that's fine. Always start from the middle out. Because that way you don't get the creases. And if you do, it's easier to smooth it out. Now, if it was a concaved, like a, a dome, um, it would be harder to do, to put on a flat surface, so, um, something like this. So what you do then is you snip little snicks around the edges, start in the middle, work out, and then they will overlap each other automatically. But it's not so distinguishable that it's um, you can't hide what you've done, because you can. I've just gone over that again, like that. Now, I'm going to wash that brush, get my little dobber brush, and we're going to do a, a little bit of colour around the edge, like that. And I think I'm going to use some of my espresso. I'm going to do now. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use the meadow. I'm just going to spray a little bit on my deck. Take my dobber. Oh, look, it's gone over that now. Look, I like that. <laughs> it's not a problem. What I'm going to do is uh, just I'm going to color this picture in around the edge. That's not a problem at all. So I want it with a colour, a nice colour. See, like that. That looks really pretty, doesn't it? Let's get rid of that. Okay. Not finished with it, so don't worry about it whatsoever. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the flat brush. 
not quite sure how much you're going to see. So what I've done is I put the uh, crackle medium on it um, and quickly dried it into the paint underneath. And what's happened, it's bubbled it rather than crackle it because it's not had time to work. And then now I'm using the Pentart, which is the patina, on there, to continue colouring in where I want the colour to be. And you just drag the colour all over where you want it to go. I'm not so fussed about the edges because we're going to put a, hopefully, if I can get the mould to work, we're going to put a mould on it. But you see how it's sinking into all the nooks and crannies that I've uh, made with using the glue. It basically, it's a crackle medium, and that's you know the like a glue, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to dry that off. Love the colours. It's woody, you know, like it's out in the wood. Well, she's sweeping up. And so I'm going to, um, I think what I'm going to do is enhance that. But I'm going to wait, I'm going to do the moulds. I've got these two, they're the only long ones that I've got. And it's this one I'm after. So hopefully it'll work. Right, so we've got the mould. And like I said, I'm just after the smaller one. So I'm just going to soften this up by moving it about in my hands. Right, and then all we've got to do now is to colour that. <laughs> Get rid of all the dusty bits. <laughs> what lovely colours surrounding it. Yeah. And um, I'm just trying to see which one I want to use. Oh, do I want that? Mm, that would go with that, actually. It'll pick that up. Yeah, I'm going to use that, I think. I don't use this one that often as you can see <laughs> right, I'm just gonna give it a good stir I don't use them that often that's all right so I'm gonna start and use this brush to paint off I'm not gonna waste that Oh, yeah, it picks that colour up. I'm just going to get it off the brush first.
Uh, I'm going to take the, and I'm going to use the gold. Oh. Rub and buff, which is the Inca gold. 